Hello, my name is Floyd Kaufman, and I'm a digital cinematography student at Full Sail University. Today, we will be interviewing Crystal Hale. She is also a digital cinematography student at Full Sail University. Crystal, welcome to the interview. Hey, Floyd, how are you? Oh, I'm doing absolutely wonderful. Oh, that's awesome. We hope we find you in good spirits on this day. Thank you. Okay, I won't waste any time. I'll get straight into the interview. First question, what do you see in the role today in the visual arts, particularly in your profession? A lot of times I see myself often as a historian because me being a professional photographer and videographer, um, a lot of times I'm capturing moments in, in history and events that will be forever remembered in my client's life, whether it's birthday parties, births, um, you name it, quinceañeras, what, whatever it is, whether it's a, a live event or, or a schedule recording or a, a photo or, or a photograph that's going to last um, that family a lifetime and they can always be able to go back and recapture what was going on in that moment, what was happening um, in that moment. But to um, fully answer your question, I see myself as a historian. Okay. Now for question number two. New communications and media technologies make imagery almost instantly available. Do you believe that this is having a positive or negative influence on your field or industry? Please give an example. Please give me one example. Well, I think that actually has made, the, made my field, which is um, photography and videography, more competitive because now it's not that you have to wait and get this professional equipment. A lot of things are now affordable. People can easily get a, a, a non-prosumer, a, a, a consumer a, a video camera. They can use their iPhones or whatever, and now you don't have to wait for people to edit. You get the truth. Um, of whatever that you're broadcasting or whatever that you're showing, you get it instantly and it's available everywhere. And I actually think that has enhanced and let and actually put the creative control into those who are not necessarily professionals but non professionals and showing some things you can actually do yourself. But there are some things I do believe that you'll still need a professional, and I do think that, um, you know, the professional is still needed to actually bro uh, to broadcast accordingly. One of the popular images in my field that I see oftentimes will be lenses because the lens is the perspective that you're going to, um, to give. And from, you know, different, different types of lenses can create different viewpoints. For instance, a 35 millimeter lens will actually give you a different perspective than a 50 millimeter lens or a pancake lens or an eagle eye lens or a more of a wide angle lens. Different lens gives you different perspective. And, and when you're doing photography and cinematography and videography, you're actually giving your audience your view and what you see. And the lens that you use is going to be the closest lens that their eyes can even imagine. Who is your favorite artist and or what is your favorite style of visual art? <laughs> One of my favorite uh, visual artists I would have to say is Hype Williams. He's one of my favorites. One being because his creativity and and I think he plays with colors a lot. I mean, nobody was doing all the... I, I like music videos. And the one thing that Hype Williams did in the music video was that he actually brought... Um, he brought, like, creativity to the scene. And everybody does it. You'll see colors here and colors there and, and things of that nature. And that's one of the... Um, styles that I like because it's um, very uh, creative. Okay, for the final question. How has your knowledge of famous artwork influenced your creative process? Well, it, it influences me to be different 
not doing the same type of cuts, the same type of color grading, the same type, but to actually do something different. Because it's when you do something different that that is what actually create a memory for your audience to, um, to view. So I really thank you um, for interviewing me and I appreciate everything. And I just tell all upcoming videographers, cinematographers, photographers is that you have to be different. And I thank you for your time, Floyd. And y'all have a great day and I'm up and out. Goodbye. Crystal, thank you for participating in the interview. You have a great day. I hope you all enjoyed the, the information that Crystal presented in this interview. Thank you for watching and have a marvelous day.